very, very close to kick off here now at Tolka Park, where Shelburne entertain Shamrock Rovers in full of, in front of a packed away end. Shamrock Rovers have sold out their allocation for tonight's game. And delighted to be here with Kieran Kilduff. Kieran, how do you think the game is going to go? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, Conan. Um, yeah, look at I think I have a little bit of a worry for Shells. I hope they don't have a bit of a, a big day hangover from Sunday with that huge result that they're after getting. But um, I'm sure Damien and the boys have got them well grounded now and trying to realise how big a game this is tonight. Rovers themselves, obviously, a bit between their teeth going for another league title. Um, they're not going to leave it. And I was watching the warm-ups there. Rovers look very bright and the intensity look there. So it's going to be a good one. Clark just aiming it up for Boyd again. So strong. Able just to bring others into play. Farrell, wonderful ball. Out to J.R. Wilson. Ball across the box. And it's clear by Kavner. Best passage of play in the game. Nice. Talked about Farrell with his deliveries. But a wonderful ball across the, across the pitch to J.R. Wilson. First time ball across to Boyd. But Kavner intercepts really, really well. So there's two players always around him and the ball is attracted towards him but he seems to be free at the back post and he's coming towards him but Gannon gets his head on it out to Shane Griffin JJ Lunny bring a ball in to Maddie Smith he does really well to fend off Kavanagh but gets underneath it and puts it high over Alan Manis' crossbar but better from Shelburne bring a ball in by JJ Lunny yeah just a better cross this time you know a nice bit of Bit of pace on it, and you know maybe you get your head on it. Can you can you direct it somewhat on, tack, on, on target? But uh, he was under pressure as well. It's not an easy one. Cleary, Jack Byrne, Dervin does well, forces him back. Cleary drives forward, goes for goal. It's another fantastic oh. effort by Daniel Cleary. Clark was beaten. Still not danger, not cleared. Green. Burn. Supposed to run a fin. And it goes out for a goal kick for Shelburne. But Daniel Cleary, I don't think anybody in the ground expected to see him shoot from there. But he bursts in and takes a shot from all of 35 yards. That crashes off the underside of the crossbar. Yeah. And clear to safety. Probably the first moment of real quality in the match. And it's come from what? 35, 40 yards. What a hit. Farrell again, plays it in. Gannon with the clearance. Luke Byrne. Out to Griffin. Ball into the box. Ooh, and it's a good clearance from Sean Kavner with Matty Smith. Looking to pounce at the back post. Good play by Shelburne. Yeah, very good. It's after lifting the place a little bit as well. Fans are going up now a little bit. Make a finish of it now. After the week that they've had. Sean Growers have brought everybody back for this corner. And Farrell puts it into a good area. And jumps Luke Byrne. Cleared by Jack Byrne. Out to Wilson. Farrell. Outside of his right boot. Oh. Into Maddie Smith. And look. They're claiming a handball off Daniel Cleary's arm. Comes out to Malloy. I don't think they're going to get it. It did look like it struck his kind of higher part of his arm, but no. I'm going to get those. And it's cleared out to Malloy in the edge of the box. And he does put it over the bar. For his discretion. Clarkey with the long ball to Boyd. Takes it on the chest. To Dervin! He took a nick on the way and it's a corner for Shelburne. They like that ball into Boyd's chest and playing off it. As I said, they did it against Bowes well as well. I think Johnny Sexton would have been proud of that one, just putting that into the corner. Yeah, that's it. And that's full time from Tolka Park. Shelburne nil, Shamrock Rovers nil. A game, an uneventful game, if we're being totally honest, with little or no goal mouth action. Closest we came to a goal was when Daniel Cleary struck a 35-yard shot off the crossbar in the second half. 
But apart from that, little goal mouth action. And it's scoreless. It's been an amazing week, a great week. Outstanding shift from the guys. It's not one where our uh, Rovers are in town, we're celebrating a point. But I think when you put it in context with the week we've had and a short turnaround after last Sunday, um, the guys have been amazing. So, yeah, I can't fault them being top class. Yeah, look, there wasn't much in it, was there, for either side. Uh, we didn't create much uh, clear-cut chances either the day. I think the best opportunity is probably Dan Cleary's effort from all of 30 yards. So, uh, some parts of it were good, um, but just the final bit just wasn't quite uh, sharp enough tonight.